in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome to another video. We are back here on Midwest Horizons. We are back here in the Magnum 380 with our case disc. We are going to go ahead and do some more disking in this video. We're going to go ahead and get uh, Field 24 here disked. <clears throat> and uh, get this field done. And then tomorrow we'll be able to move on to some planting. Um, we'll go ahead and plant field 72 and field 24 here. And get our wheat in the ground. So that way our spring wheat is in the ground and ready to rock and roll. And then once we have that in the ground we will fast forward a day. And we'll take care of the tillage on... Uh, let's see, I think it's... 26, 27, and 71 that need to be tilled yet. Because uh, 25, 28, and 29 are all already tilled. <coughs> so we'll get that taken care of um, on probably Friday. Because, uh, let's see, this is Tuesday's video, so tomorrow being Wednesday. We'll be planting field 72. Thursday we'll be planting this field. And then Friday we'll get our tillage done on those other three fields. We'll get that done in one day. And then um, Saturday we'll probably spray our um, wheat ground. And then Sunday we'll be planting our soybeans. And then next week we'll uh, take care of... Uh, I made that corner a lot sharper than I wanted to. Um, we'll take care of, you know, fast forwarding another day. Getting our corn in the ground and then, you know, getting closer, to, closer and closer to harvest. <clears throat> so yeah um, if you guys remember me mentioning yesterday in uh, the video um, about a map project well I have started that if you guys have seen the live streams you know that I have already started it and have seen some of it um, I have started it there will be videos on it I'm not entirely sure when whoops fucked up my turn there um, but I have started videos or started on it. Uh, when I will have videos of of it, I am not sure yet. Uh, just because I don't know when I'm gonna start videoing it. Maybe I'll do some video once I get the rest of my town items put in and finished and whatnot. Um, it's not gonna be anything special on the town. There's not gonna be like a bunch of houses and bunch of odds and ends buildings and stuff like that uh, it's more so just gonna be the elevator the dealership place to buy seed place to buy um, fertilizer and chemical you know well let's see there's a place for seeds a place for lime and fertilizer and then a place for herbicide and then there's the dealership and I really think that's about it I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put cattle on my map. It's just going to be a lot of grain farming. Um, so, yeah. I I mean, I have a little bit done to it. I have a couple roads put in. I have the terrain put into it already. Um, and I have the elevator put on. That's about it so far. Um, still need to get a lot of stuff done on it, but... I'll get there. Um, I do also have an idea for a modeling project that I'm going to do soon. Um, plan on making a like co-op fertilizer spreader. You know, like what you see co-ops using for pull-behind spreaders. Uh, just because it would be kind of nice to have something like that. Um, and I really want to model something up. 
it's been a long time since I've made any models, so I kind of want to make one, <clears throat> you know, make something just to kind of get myself back into it, um, to kind of, I don't know, refresh myself in terms of modeling, I guess I could say, so... I do have a lot of projects that I'd like to do, but <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe one day I'll eventually get there. And because I know that people ask, um, I don't plan on releasing releasing my map at all um, I kind of gave up releasing a long time ago I mean I have released some stuff before but I don't plan on releasing anything else anymore unless I don't know I may make something just to release just kind of something I don't know we'll see but at the moment I don't plan on releasing anything that I create. Um, not that there's really all that much that I'm making right now. Um, I have a K15 model sitting in a folder that I'm doing that I'm planning on building to be like the truck. Basically like my dream truck. Because um, my dream truck is to take a K15, um, either a K15 or take a K2500 with a 6.5 diesel in it and build it and when I say build I'm saying I'm talking like lift kit you know big ass lift big ass tires you know all kinds of aftermarket parts on it you know something just completely cool badass um, you know dream truck I mean I'm kind of somewhat making my dream truck out of my current vehicle which is a 09 Silverado uh, extended cab uh, at the moment I haven't really done a whole lot to it just because I haven't been able to afford it uh, all that's been done on it when I bought it uh, for those of you that don't know I guess uh, when I bought it it had a leveling kit it's got about a three inch level kit on it and it's got aftermarket rims on it uh, it's got 18 inch rims on it uh, which I'm pretty sure is bigger than stock because I'm pretty sure that pickup only came with like 16s or 17s on it stock um, but <coughs> it had that on it it's, it had LED high beams and LED reverse lights and I think it's got LED plate lights on it too yeah it's got LED plate lights uh, the low beams were not LEDs when I bought it uh, I actually ran into the guy one day um, when I was working at the dealership still <coughs> a pickup came in that had camouflage uh, badges you know camouflage bow ties just like my truck did my truck does and so I went and asked the guy what it was that he used to do that, if they were plastic dipped or what. And he said that it was just camouflage tape that he ordered off Amazon. I was like, okay, because my truck has it. So I was just kind of curious. And he's like, oh, is it a black 09 Silverado? I was like, yeah. He's like, extended cab? Yep. He goes, oh, yeah, that's my old pickup. I was like, oh, okay, so what all did you do to it? And uh, he told me that the low beams were also the same LEDs as everything else. But they burned out like a week before he traded it in, and he just never went and replaced them. Um, but I have put uh, LEDs in the low beams now. Um, so I got nice bright blue lights all the way around. Um, and I put mud flaps on it. Uh, he had put a Flowmaster 40 muffler on it. I currently have that cut. 
uh, underneath of my cab so it's a little bit louder um, I do plan on getting my truck I want to get it true dual straight pipes on it and a local muffler shop here in town uh, they quoted me I think it was 450 bucks to get true dual straights and so once I have that kind of money uh, I plan on doing that um, I've put mud flaps on it those were I actually did those within the first week of me buying it um, I did those made a appointment at the dealership that I worked with or worked at and um, got them done and while I was kind of watching the guy do the mud flaps and checking on it because um, he had it on a lift had it you know about chest height uh, so that way it was kind of about so he didn't have to bend over or anything to do the mud flaps and uh, I noticed that there was transmission fluid underneath of my pickup and so I ended up having to take it in get my tranny filter or tranny pan gasket replaced because when I bought the truck it had about 95,000 miles on it and so about 100,000 miles usually those gaskets need to get replaced because they get you know dry and brittle and they leak and that's that was the case for me so um, thankfully I had extended bought an extended warranty with my pickup when I bought it so uh, that was covered under that warranty so I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket for that um, I had to have a wheel bearing replaced on it um, there was a time where I made a dumb decision to be uh, down at the desert area playing around in the mud uh, while absolutely hammered so basically I was uh, you know not giving a shit about <laughs> anything and um, I mean I had my pickup sideways in so many mud holes so many times where I thought I was gonna hit a tree and <laughs> yeah got back to town later that night and uh, my wheel locked up and yeah found out that I blew a wheel bearing that was also covered thankfully because the part alone was about four hundred dollars and at that time I was in the same position where I am now where I was out of a job and uh, yeah thankfully that covered that and then got new tires put on it I went from having LT tires on it to now having passenger tires that my dad bought um, I don't like them I hate them I like having my LT tires they rode a lot nicer but you know he paid for the tires um, I of course got that thrown in my face but you know that was his decision to buy them I didn't ever ask him to do anything on my pickup didn't ask him to buy new tires didn't ask him to have it aligned didn't ask him to buy new brakes which he never did um, I had to put new brakes on the front I had to get new pads on both sides on the front and I had to get a new caliper on the driver's side front where the wheel bearing had blown out because that caliper was just shot um, and actually I had lost the inner brake pad on that side and so my pistons on my caliper had shot out and it was just it was done and so um, I had to do that one day in the back parking lot here at the apartment um, I put axle seals in it which I don't know if I did them wrong or if they're going out again because I mean it's been a while since I replaced them I'm not really sure how often you replace axle seals um, but I have noticed that there are there is a little bit of fluid coming out of them but I mean it's not too bad but I mean I do plan on replacing all the lights on it all the headlights taillights third brake light the license plate lights I plan on replacing um, I have already replaced the fog lights but I need to buy new pods um, I put LED light pods in uh, in the spots where my fog lights would be I took the fog lights out they were full of water and sand and stuff and they were just nasty um, and my fog light 
bulbs that burned out a while back and they were it's like the ones that are in there or that were in there were like 70 bucks to replace and I was like you know let's screw that I'm gonna wait to replace them because the pod you know the lenses were so nasty anyways so I was like you know what I'll just wait and whatever and then I got an idea well because I've got a light bar in my bumper um, I don't know some of you might know what I'm talking about but on some Chevy's on the front bumper um, between the grill and the bottom part of the bumper there is a slot um, you know a little rectangular hole in that hole um, there was two brackets spaced about 22 inches apart so I'm guessing the last owner had a light bar in that spot as well but the brackets were spaced about 22 inches apart so I went to Walmart bought me a 22 inch light bar stuck it in there so I got that light bar well then I got to thinking why don't I throw some pods down in my fog lights instead of you know just running normal fog lights so I went to Walmart bought a set of um, there it's two six inch pods and they were like 20 bucks you know they're not super expensive so they're not the greatest well about three days later one of them burned out the one on the passenger side burned out um, I just wired them directly into my fog light wiring and so um, you know I just can use the fog light button underneath of my lights you know so didn't have to run any new buttons or anything like I had done with the light bar um, or anything like that so once I have a new job and have 22 bucks to spare uh, I gotta go get a new set and uh, it won't be too bad to replace all I gotta do is cut the plugs off of the new um, pod and then just unbolt the pod that's in there take that out put the new one in bolt it in and then just cut the plugs off of it strip the wire back and then hook them together and then throw a uh, wire nut on there and elect cover it in electrical tape so that way nothing gets in it and then I should be good to run again <clears throat> uh, but I plan on getting smoked lens lights all the way around I mean they're not dark lights um, but they have a little bit of a tint to them I want to put cab lights on it um, but I have to find a place that will actually do it there's a place in town here called automotive addictions that does all kinds of automotive stuff I mean they do everything from lift kits wheels and tires they do uh, audio systems I mean they do all kinds of shit but they won't do cab lights um, because their issue is they don't want it to be on them if the cab lights leak uh, because I mean you're drilling holes in a cab and then trying to get it to seal I mean I put cab lights on my 94 Ford that I had before this pickup I drilled the holes I put the cab lights on I never had any issues with water leaking I mean they sealed just fine so I mean I I could do it myself it's just that pickup I didn't care about as much because I mean I paid 500 bucks for the pickup it was full of rust it was full of dents it, I mean the driver's door was bent for crying out loud so I mean I wasn't as worried about that pickup this pickups a little bit different story I mean I paid 15 grand for this pickup and it's not full of rust I mean it has a little bit of rust starting which I want to get repaired uh, I want to take my pickup has not had a bed liner in it since I bought it, which I need a bed liner in it. I need to get that done. Um, <clears throat> so I want to call Linex and get a quote. But I also want to get a quote. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you know on Silverados, they have a little bit of a trim on the lower part of the doors. I want to have them spray from the bottom of that all the way down to the bottom of the cab all the way across and then I want to have them go a, spray a couple inches thick or like a couple inches tall around the fenders basically about the height of a set of fender flares 
because I want to have them spray that so that way it protects it from rust and then put fender flares over it just to kind of give it a cool look because <clears throat> um, I want to throw some camouflage fender flares on there because my truck has a lot of camo on it uh, the bow ties front and back are camouflage uh, the steering wheel has camo on it I mean I'm planning on redoing all the camo uh, it is just duct tape and the last guy he kind of did a choppy job with it I mean there's spot a lot of spots where you can see that it was just patched in and so I want to take it all apart and there's a lot more that I want to redo or a lot more that I want to do in camo as well like I want to do a lot of the dash in camo and like the cup holders on the center console I want to do um, I want to do like the back light the trim around the light in the back is camo but I want to do the one in the front I want to put LED lights in my interior lights as well um, so that way when I turn on the dome lights it's a lot brighter um, I mean there's there's so much stuff that I want to do to it and you know so little money I mean, just my headlights, taillights, third brake light, and license plate lights that I want to do, those alone are over $400 um, on Amazon. So, I mean, it's it's definitely not going to be cheap, but I definitely want to get it all done eventually, little by little. I mean, I still owe $4,500 on the pickup as well. So, I'm slowly paying it off. Because I have to pay about 180 bucks every month. I haven't really been able to ever pay more. Um, I mean, I would love to be paying more on it than the minimum, you know, than my payment of 180 bucks. But I just haven't been able to afford that. Hopefully, I can find a new job soon and uh, be making money again and be able to cover that kind of stuff. You know, be able to be paying more on it just so I can pay it off sooner. So we're getting in there. We're just about done with this field, finally. Getting closer and closer to being done with tillage. Tillage is one of my least favorite things to do. Harvest is definitely my favorite. I love harvest. That's my number one favorite task. So when harvest does roll around, um, we'll be running semi, we won't be running combine or anything. The combine and the grain cart are going to run on course play because we're going to have to run the truck uh, with running the auger. Um, that means that we'll have to run the truck to you know, unload the semi and the auger and stuff, but that's no problem. Um, I mean, we can do that easily, so. <laughs> so I want to look here once. In here, they have when it's... Well, they have the forecast. Hmm. So they have a economy of kind of when it's the best time to sell like wheat is in the winter time it's kind of in but it's kind of on day two day three of winter that's kind of the prime time to sell wheat uh, soybeans 
prime selling time is actually second day of uh, summer corn best time kind of second day of summer or second to third day of winter I mean winter's kind of gonna be our I'm not exactly sure what this whole rotation thing is. I've never really dealt with that before. I know that, I don't think that was a feature in uh, 17. And haven't really used seasons a whole lot in 19 yet either. Just because, I mean, I haven't been playing a whole lot since seasons came out. Or since I downloaded seasons just because I mean I haven't really I didn't really play this game for like five months so oops wrong button I wanted V not C but uh yeah cuz I mean I didn't play for the longest time just cuz I you know my computer screen being broke and stuff uh, which it still is I had somebody ask me that uh, one time if my screen was fixed it's not but I have it hooked to a TV which is um, behind my monitor or behind my laptop screen so um, that's kinda why I'm looking more off to the distance instead of looking directly at my camera some junk on the screen there <clears throat> Definitely want to upgrade disc, our disc after we sell our crop and have a little more money. I would definitely like to upgrade this a little bit, just so that way our spring tillage goes a little bit faster. Uh, we do still need to pick up a snow blower, um, so that way we can move snow come winter. Um, Either a snow blower or a blade or something to push it with, or our 7R does have the um, the ability to have front loader attachment on it, so we could put the loader attachment on it or the loader brackets on it, and we could buy a um, loader and we can get like a bucket and also use that to move snow. Not too much more left. So this is actually my second attempt at making this video. Um, I this is Tuesday that I'm recording this. Uh, it's currently almost coming up on 12:30 in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, this is my second attempt at recording this. I recorded one yesterday. Uh, I did this entire field, got it all done, got the video made. And then I went to my home screen to stop recording, and my I got no signal on the TV. So I unplugged the HDMI cord from the computer, plugged it back in, and then all of a sudden my computer just shut itself off. Don't know what the hell happened there. Don't know why the hell it did that. But it just it shut itself off. And so I lost the video, and I lost all the progress of doing this field, so... This is my second time doing this field. Um, but, oh well. All's well that ends well, I guess. <clears throat> A few more passes and we'll have this field done. And we will be ready to uh, go unhook this disc for the time being because we won't need it for a couple days uh, a couple real days I should say I 
So what's everybody's preference that uses Seasons Mod um, for your days? Do you just kind of sit and fast forward through the days as you advance? Or I know there's some people, I've seen some people, they just run with the time scale set at like times 60 or times 120 even I've seen people do. Um, the most common that I've seen though is people having it set at times 60 and then they just run you know they have it running constantly so then it just kinda advances through the day as they play I've seen some people do it that way but uh what's everybody else's preference on that you know like do you you know like I a lot of the times I just run at real time and I just you know I'll do what I want to get done in that day then fast forward to the next you know to the next day or two days or whatever um, that's kinda how I run my seasons I'm just kinda curious to see you know, curious to know how everybody else runs their seasons if they run it kinda similar or um, if they run it a little bit differently Alright, so here's our last pass. control for so they got set that you can open the door okay stop I'll get this folded up and then I'm just going to quick save the game. Okay. We'll get our hazards turned on here. Hmm. So I see the spindles for the discs still turn you guys see that those are still turning they turn when the tractor drives but the discs themselves don't turn so that's kind of interesting Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to unhook the disc here in the yard for now. Let's pull it up right beside this building here. And we're going to unhook it there. And then uh, that's going to do it for today. And then tomorrow uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get the planter hooked up. Or actually what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to get the planter hooked up and I'll get it filled up with seed and I'll get us uh, put over here to the field so we're ready to start planting in tomorrow's video so that ouch that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel and you like what you see make sure to subscribe to be uh, kept up to date when I upload new videos and uh, as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow